Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this Trim Paths text effect. So this is actually pretty simple to do, but very useful and sleek looking. The first thing I'm going to do is just on a new composition or whatever project you're working on, I'm going to grab my text or type tool and write out an example word. So I'll just write text effect. And in the right hand side in your character panel, Here's where you can choose everything about the font, the size, the spacing, and all of those aspects of your text. And once you're ready as well, you can also go to the align panel. Here's a, just a quick way you can align things vertically and center. So I just have my text in the center. I'm just using Helvetica bold. And what I'm going to do next is right click on that text layer that we just created and go to create shapes from text. What this is going to do is create a new shape layer where each one of the letters turns into a shape. So we have all of the text made into a shape so that we can use the paths feature. Now, before I even do that though, I want to go to my shape tool and just change the fill and stroke. So under the fill, I'm gonna actually click the blue letters where it says fill. And here's where I can change it to be no fill. And just as a side note, you could also do like gradients for separate effects, but I'm going to choose none for the fill. And then for the stroke, I'm going to actually choose whatever I want. So you can pick whatever color you want. I'll do this cool blue color. And I'm just going to change the pixel amount to whatever looks good to your taste. I'll do like six or seven for the stroke amount. So if I grab my selection tool, I can just kind of see what that looks like. This is what we have so far. So now that I have these text shapes stroked out, I'll open up this little drop down menu that says add next to the contents and I'll add a trim paths option. So you'll see that trim paths tool pop up underneath all the letters. And if I drop that down, I have a few parameters I can adjust, which is start and an offset. So from zero to 100% start to end, we have our full text. But if I were to shrink down the start or end, then we'll only get like 50% of our text being outlined, as you can see, something like this. And then also the offset tool just changes the starting and ending position. So a couple cool effects you can do just with simple keyframing is if I turn the start and end back to zero and 100, if I go to the very beginning or wherever I wanna start animating, add a keyframe on the end point and make it 0%. So right now it's zero start to zero end and then move over like five or 10 seconds, however long you want your animation to be, and increase that back up to 100%, what we'll see is we fill from zero to 100% with that trim paths tool. So it's a little slow in this case, but it still looks cool. And you can move the keyframes closer or further apart for different speeds and adjust the interpolation of the keyframes. Another animation option you have, if I turn off that keyframe for end, is if I did just have like half of the text animated and I just constantly rotated the offset. So if I change the offset to be from zero rotations all the way over to, let's just say three full rotations and press play on that, you'll see that the text is constantly just being offset. The start and end points are constantly chasing each other, but they're never getting past 60% full or whatever I set it as. And also you have the option to trim the paths simultaneously. So every letter getting trimmed at the same time or individually. So in this case, it's treating each letter one by one, one after the other. So you can see how in this case, it's creating a totally different result. And as well as if I did the start and end animation instead, it would create a totally different result. So more like a left to right fill happening. So this is almost like uh, someone's drawing in the text. So just with this one trim paths tool, I've shown you two or three or four different cool effects that you can do. And also as a final touch, you can always right click on your shape layer, go to layer styles and do things like add outer glows. If you wanted to add a little glow touch, you'll see that pop up right underneath all the other things. And I can add a blue glow, for example, onto this, giving it maybe like a neon feel if I wanted. And I can also add whatever effects and things I want. So keep in mind, this works for text just like this, but also if, if you just had a shape 
the same way if I just drug out a shape with these same stroke tools and added a trim paths feature on a shape, you get the same options that would happen on the shape. So that's how to use the trim paths tool, a really simple but elegant looking effect that I'm sure will come in handy for many of your projects. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other tutorials in the After Effects playlist on my channel and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.